hello friends so welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video i will show you how you can fix the error which is my sqli fetch associates expect parameter one to be my sqli result and boolean given so you can see the error here uh, which is uh, basically it's a warning my sqli fetch associate expect parameter one to be my sqli result and boolean given so i will show you how you can fix this error and i will basically i will show you why this error occurs when this error occurs and how you can fix this error okay so i will show you this with the help of an example so i have a example let me show you i have a file get name dot php which is a php file and it contains some php code and a small html form okay so basically i will show you this by running this php file okay so you can say so i have basically a simple html form which uh, take a id an id as a input and when we submit the id it fetch the data from database the database table and it fetch the name of the corresponding id okay so let me show you the database mm. i have a database lms and here a table authors so basically i am fetching the author name corresponding to the author id okay so what we will do basically when we submit a id it fetch the corresponding name from the database right so if i submit 103 it fetch the name chetan bhagat okay so here you can see in the database the author id is 103 and the name of author is chetan bhagat okay so our code is working fine let me try another id 102 and we submit it fetch the name which is md gupta means our code is working fine now i will show you the error and when the error occurs this error occurs when our query is incorrect there is 99 percent chances that the error it occurs when our query is incorrect or our query is not executing properly okay so i will make some changes in our query basically i will make our query incorrect well at right now our query is correct because it's working fine but now i i say when this error occurs when our query is incorrect so i will make our query incorrect let me change the table name which is authors if i remove s from authors now our query is incorrect because table name is not correct our table name is authors but i remove s from authors okay so now our query will not execute successfully because our query is incorrect so now i try to run this code again let me submit 102 okay now you can say the error which is mysqli fetch associate parameter one to be mysqli result and boolean given so what does it mean basically it is saying that our function mysqli fetch associate expect parameter one means it is expecting a parameter but which is expecting a parameter mysqli result but boolean given means it is expecting a mysqli result parameter but boolean given means we are providing boolean to the function so this is our function mysqli fetch associate means the query run when the query is executing this query is executing now it returns something in the variable query run and we are providing query run variable to this function means it is returning boolean it is saying boolean given okay so when this function return boolean when our query is not executing properly means when our query is incorrect okay so when this error arise when our query is incorrect okay so if i make our query correct again so it will work fine let me show you it's working fine 
now i will make some another change in our query what i am doing basically in our query we are fetching the data from the database table authors where author id is equal to this post id means we are submitting id from the form so the id we are getting id from methods post method means we are getting the id from form so if we provide correct id we provide an integer value then our query will be incorrect if i provide a non integer value then our query will be incorrect because author id should be integer means this id this should be integer okay so what i will do now i will if i provide here a integer id it will work fine okay because our query need a integer value here okay so if we provide a non integer value here let's say abc if i submit now you can say the error occurs because we are providing a non integer value as a input so here author id should be a integer but we are providing the value non integer okay so means ultimately our query is incorrect so it is giving a warning mysql mysql i fetch as source expect parameter 1 and boolean given okay so now i show you i shown you ki when the error occurs and why the error occurs now i will show you how you can fix this error okay how you can fix the error and you how you find the error why it's happening in our code how you um, get this error how you resolve this error in your code so the simple and very basic method to solve this error is basically comment out rest of the code okay um, after your query and this is our query and basically what i'm doing i am commenting the rest of the code because so that the code doesn't get executed and now what i will do you have to do simply echo the query okay simply echo query i am printing the query okay now i will try to run it again here if i provide 102 our query is correct so you can say our query because in i echo our query okay simply to check whether our query is correct or incorrect so here you can say uh, you can read your query select all from authors where author id is 102 so you can um, check your query um, basically you can check your proper query uh, whether it is correct or not okay uh, so it's better if you found the error uh, by simply seeing your error uh, your query if you are not able to find the error what you can do you can simply copy this query and try to execute this query manually in your database here in the sql tab you can paste this query means we are manually executing this query okay and if i click on go you can say it will work properly means our query is correct okay by hand we execute our query manually it's working fine means our query is correct but if i make some changes if i provide a non integer value and if i submit now our query is incorrect because author id should be integer but we are providing a non integer value so if you found you if you can find the error by seeing your your query it's okay uh, otherwise what you can do or what will you do simply copy this error copy this query and execute this query manually and you can check whether it's working fine or not so if i click on go now you can say it's not working correctly it's saying uh, unknown column abc means there is some problem with abc and now you can find this error okay now you can find this error easily and you can solve this error okay so this is the simple way you can you can correct your error which is my sqli expect parameter 
one and boolean given so in this way you can correct your error okay so what you will do to correct this error simply echo your query and check whether your query is correct or not you can copy this query and you can execute this query manually in your database okay so the main point of this video is that the query sorry the error occur when we are executing a wrong query or our query is not executing properly okay so directly you have to check your query that's it okay so that's it in that's it for today uh, thanks for watching this video i hope uh, this video will help you you will get something from this video if you if this video is helpful for you you can like the video share the video and subscribe our channel for more videos thanks for watching this video bye bye and take care